Welcome back with another quick tip, and right here, I'm going to go straight into it. I'm going for a pick and fade in the corner. The best pick and fades and pick and rolls are always going to be in an empty corner because there's nobody who's going to be able to rotate on the weak side. Uh, so, very easy pass. This is a uh, this is a uh, play that I run pretty often. You can see it's, it's just going to be two on two. The rest of the team can't rotate and cover that fade in the far corner. You can see how far away everybody is, but... The big can usually get back on that. So let me show it one more time. All right, pick and fade, empty corner. The big can get back depending on how far you stretch them to the paint. But it's overall a good play. But let me show you what I do to make it a little better. So like I said, pick and fade from the empty corner is one of my favorite sets. Works pretty often. Everything so far is going to be the exact same. Uh, the defender's going to be trailing. He has to stay in position between me and the basket. So what I'm going to do is cut to the outside and get in between the defender and Wimbeyama or the defender and the big. You can even do this with a guard as well. So now there's just more people, more bodies in the way from him to be able to close out. So just having all of those defenders in there just gives me a little bit more of a buffer, almost like a screen to prevent the big from getting out there so quickly. Here you go full speed, cut it outside, get in his way and then throw the same simple pass and there's no way that anybody can rotate to that. And that's going to be it. Thank you for watching.